how the patient is prepared for the surgery shave the area of surgical site this procedure is preferably done under spinal anesthesia and position of the patient should be left lateral or prone apply adhesive elastic strapping on each side of the buttock to stretch them and to expose the area of pilonidal sinus you can appreciate tuft of hairs are being removed because this sinus contain hairs first determine extent of the sepsis by palpation for in duration or using probes completely excise the skin of septic area and this extent of excision should go deep to the presacral fascia You can also cure it away granulation tissue and embedded hairs. After excision of all the sinus, check with the probe in the base of the wound to detect any side tracks or any residual granulation tissue which may be pouting from side tracks. We will fashion the wound so that there are no overhanging edges of the wound. You can see the sinus opening of this excised part. We have done complete excision of pilonidal sinus and extent of excision is deep to presacral fascia. Secure hemostasis. Dress the wound with gauzes soaked in piodine or physiological saline and then apply pressure over it. A simple pilonidal sinus called pilonidal dimple which is detected by chance does not require treatment. Treatment is only required if it's discharging, infected or is refractory to medical treatment. At the end, dressing is applied over this wound. 
post operatively patient will have to take bath or irrigate the wound twice a day